One of the biggest games in Europe this weekend. Inter versus Juventus. Inter minus 128. That will do plenty for a lot of people. Juve at plus 423. Not liked what I've seen over the last couple of games from them. Over one... Plus 117, not to score Juve. has got to be a runner. They're not creating. Um, they only score from an own goal in the last uh, over 180 minutes. Uh, Inter, minus 106 to score twice. The under two and a half is at minus 140. Tan, Inter, Juve, massive game. I, I think it's like there's a gulf between these two sides. And then you put Inter at home as well. Mm, not sure. There is a nice message from Marik Haley if they can help from the control room, because uh, uh, he might have some reason in what he's saying. See, he's saying, uh, in my recommendation for Inter versus a Juve game, paint the room you're going to watch the game in, then watch the paint dry. That will be more exciting than the game. <laughs> now, if we talk about mere entertainment for uh, things happening, you could be right. In my opinion, in a game like this, even uh, a tactical... Uh, very athletical, uh, demanding game is exciting as well, but that is my taste of football. Uh, but it is that I expect very few goals, actually never more than two goals, never. And I expect to be super leveled, uh, to throw everything on the table. Juventus, are uh, they've been super hit in their confidence by losing at home against Stuttgart. That was very bad. That is probably they probably screwed their chances to qualify directly to a round of 16 in Champions League. What? They what? are yes, because it's uh, one loss. They, they need 16 now, points to die. They, first of all, now I don't know why now they talk about 16 points. When UEFA did the simulation, they said that it was needed 17.6 points, number one. Number two, Juventus have to play out in Birmingham and have to host Manchester City, which means that I count on other three wins from Juventus. But at the moment, I'm counting that they lose to Aston Villa and Manchester City. To qualify to round of 16 directly, they need to get some points from I think, I mean, games listen, against I think, I think the big thing is with Juve, we can't judge them the same as we did a few weeks ago because a few weeks ago they had a full squad to pick from exactly. and now also, they don't. Also, also, but it's not only about that. Also, also, but it's not only about that because uh, for the biggest uh, uh, absence they are suffering, obviously, is Bremer. But they are not conceding goals. So it's not about Two that. Minus. It's about... Well, Cobainer, Sico Gonzalez, whatever. But yeah. anyway, it's that the offensive... Surely they are missing all those players. But anyway, the offensive uh, phase of Juventus is not clicking. And uh, or has almost never clicked except in Leipzig and other one or two games. And that it is an issue because it's never happening. Now, uh, Thiago Motta is well aware of what is happening. Uh, not losing to Inter might be more important than winning. To win, you have to come out, stick your neck out, and might risk conceding games to Inter that are just lethal when they find space. So, and anyway, it's conceding very few, Motta, because even if they lost to uh, Stuttgart, they conceded goal minute 93, same as uh, uh, against Cagliari and everything. So, they will be tight, they will be defensive. Inter, on the other side, Cialanoglu, and Acerbi won't recover on time. Now, never mind Acerbi. Cianoglu, even if Lautaro is stronger, if we have to can say it like that, uh, than uh, Cianoglu, or Turam is more decisive, but Cianoglu is probably the only very unreplaceable player in Inter. Is the player that is making a click all the organization around when it is about attacking. And you can see that from the way the other are suffering in missing the point of reference in the middle of the pitch. So, uh, Inter, Simone Zaghi is also well aware of this. And uh, against uh, young boys, uh, they have spent much more energy than he expected. They lost another uh, player for injury, Carlos Augusto. So, they have five players also that they are out for absences. And uh, at the same time, playing on artificial turf uh, is giving them a lot of troubles uh, to recover properly. So, game will be very blocked from the beginning, very few goals, very tactical, 
if you find the combo yesterday we were driving back from switzerland uh, and we were talking with uh, with flash and said don't complicate it i said okay if you find the combo go for in my opinion draw it the half time plus under two and a half goals overall not only in the half time but anyway draw it the half time is my pick okay um i i just see juve not scoring i see inter not getting b um but even the wildest Juve fan will be over the moon if this ends in a draw, Mina. Yeah, I mean, it's most likely going to be a nil-nil, right? Like it's no, going to be no, one I of disagree. Those... I think it's 2 nil. Do you really? Yeah, oh, I do. okay. Cause, but I don't... after everything that we said about like the young, after everything Tang said about how exhausted they are, I didn't about listen the to a word he said. Okay, you didn't well, listen. I couldn't. Well, I... I couldn't. And my my ears phones have gone gone uh, ten. So don't repeat it though, because everyone at home could could hear <laughs> yeah, you. That's why. That's why, like getting, uh, that's why you are not getting any. <laughs> okay, Tank, it's my turn. Week, my eh? turn, Tank, my turn. Okay. So basically, you know, right. here's the thing that I think this is going to be a draw. But I also felt like at the time, like coming out of that match against Stuttgart, there was so much. I mean, Gazette de los Sport said, "What are you doing? Like, what was that performance? There was a lot of criticism for Thiago Motta." Because over the weekend, they said, yes, you got the victory against Lazio, but you can't play against closed defences. Against Stuttgart, you can't counter-attack. So what is, that, what is it exactly that you know how to do when it comes to attacking football? And this is from a guy who took over Max Allegri, who was hated for playing this boring football. This was a new project, right? We were supposed to see this fantastic champagne style of, of game, and we haven't seen that right now. And Thiago Motta, who is a very proud man and thinks he's a winner inside, you know, it's all about that quiet confidence is rattled and he said don't worry like as he i don't know what he's going to do but he is going to fight tooth and nail to make sure that they don't lose this and this is the the best time to be playing into because they did play 90 minutes against young boys they did need the likes of lautaro martinez and uh, turam and di marco to come on to make that difference because their second string team wasn't making that difference and also trying to find a director to take over from channel Oglu because it's not barella so, and Aslani is also injured, so they don't even have that backup plan, right? So there is Dumfries, the guy is so capable of mistakes as well out on the wing. Noah Gusto now. So yeah, it's the best time to be playing Inter, but we also have to recognize that Juventus has lots of absences too. They don't have some of their best players or those that can take on one-on-one -on -one like Nico Gonzalez or Coop Miners. But what in Thiago Motta has to do is make sure that Yildiz plays through the middle. If he plays through the middle, then maybe we can see more attacking games. So... I'm going for Juve double chance. Yeah, OK. Uh, there's too much confidence in the away side uh, for me. And uh, I was only joking, uh, Tan. I totally, <laughs> I totally agree with Chalonoglu. But almost like last season's Brozovic. Absolutely key. Uh, and is actually the, uh, the driver. Uh, of the of the bus. Uh, let's have a little look at the official picks. Juve double chance plus one hundred. First half draw plus one hundred three for ten. I don't mind. Are both of you, uh, well, you can definitely be uh, right because I'm more than happy with nil nil. But Inter to win an under three and a half plus one twenty five. One nil, two nil, even three nil. Uh, but I see one nil, two nil for the home side.